Yo, how's it going gamers? It's your boy SuperZero and welcome back to another video today. As you can tell by the title, we're doing a mic unboxing. We're gonna do some testing, we're gonna show you how it sounds and how everything's working out and what mic I got and you know, the whole setup. So, you know, let's get into it. So right here, we got the Sterling ST155. It's a large diaphragm condenser microphone. I literally just read it right there. You guys can read it, I don't know why I said it. But uh, yeah, it's a really good mic. I originally wanted the um, the audio technica at 2020 or something like that 20 something but unfortunately they were out of stock of it just because of covid and everything but look how beautiful this looks yo Ooh, let me show you it let's get it out of here okay i don't have a spare hand so we're just gonna have to open it with my feet so but ooh, look at that emblem right there the logo right there this case is solid this is about the size of my hand so like it's a pretty big case i really like how it looks it feels like really solid like really good material it's amazing. <laughs> it is amazing, man. I haven't opened it up yet either, so let's take a quick look at it. Let's see what it looks like, yo. Ooh, the sound sounds so good, too. It sounds so professional. You can tell this is well made. The materials in here were well made. Oh, dude, it feels so nice. Oh, look at the microphone. Here, let's pop it out. Look at that. Ooh, it's it's a large diaphragm. They were not kidding. Like it's bigger than the size of my hand. It's a big old microphone. I used the snowball, the the blue snowball at one point, and it is a lot smaller than this one. Jeez, man, it looks so nice. And obviously, you got the shock mount here. Let's open this up. I only have one hand, so it's kind of tough to work with here, but uh, we can manage. Man, look at that. And then there's a little, I have no idea what this is gonna do. There's like a little, I have no idea what the, is that a rubber band? I have no idea what it's gonna do, but uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna figure it out. But look at the shock mount here. This shock mount looks really stable. So basically I think what this shock mount is for is so that, you know, whenever you're moving your desk, like moving it around, you know, like something moves, your mic doesn't break. Cause this thing is very fragile. It is an extremely fragile microphone. So we gotta be careful with it. This thing costs about $200 on the market um, is what I bought with like taxes and everything. I sure it's a little bit more, but uh, yeah, it's an expensive microphone. It is no joke. So I'm assuming if I want to put it in, I would have to like put it in between here, something like this, but uh, I'll mess with that in here in a second. But like, man, does it look nice. This is a really nice looking microphone. The case, the whole presentation, everything is completely solid and it fits in there just like that. And yeah, honestly, dude. And it's really nice because they make it, they made it like this so that you guys could travel with it. So if you ever need to go, be on the go, it's not, it's honestly, as much as I say, it's a big case. It's like just a little bit bigger than my hand. So it's easy to carry. It's not that heavy. Um, it's really well made. It is extremely well made. And if you're curious what mixer I'm using, I'm using the Multimix by Elisa. So however you say it. And uh, here, I'll, do, I'll show you what, it, what my setup looks like at the moment. It's this, and then you have the cable here, beep, boop, bop. I'm gonna figure it out. Let's get into the testing of it. Let's let's go test this baby out. Alrighty, here we are with the new mic. As you can tell, it sounds a lot better than my phone mic. It sounds amazing. I love how it sounds. It is perfect. I have no complaints about it. I'm not that much of a mic person. And this is my first mic that I've bought that isn't a USB powered one. Here, I'll even show you what my old mic sounded like compared to this one. Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Big Papa's in the house. All right, all right, all right. So we had to do some tasks and stuff like that. So we had to go to admin swipe. Yep, that was the blue snowball that I was using. It was a great mic for a while. Honestly, for the price it is, it's amazing. 40 bucks for a blue snowball mic that's just USB. It's very simple, just plug and play, you know, that kind of stuff. This one is going to require, obviously, phantom power. It's not USB powered, so basically you have to get like a multi-mixer and whatnot. So all in all, I bought this mic at $140. I think the real price for this mic is about $200. I'm not that much of a mic person. I don't really know how to compare it between like, say something like the Audio-Technica AT20 something, whatever. Honestly, I think it's pretty great. I think it's a really great brand. I think it's really good. Honestly, I never heard of this brand before, but now that I've been using the mic for a little bit, I've been streaming with it, it is amazing. It is such a great mic. There's some features I obviously need to tweak and whatnot, and you know, I'll get into that eventually, but so far, it is amazing. Probably the only complaint I have with this mic is the fact that it's so heavy. As you can see, this mic stand that I have right here, this boom arm right, that I have right now, kind of, it's really weak. And this mic is about five to 10 pounds or something like that. And it's having a real tough time to keep it up, whatnot. I'm just kidding, mic stand, I'm just kidding. Listen, you don't have a hard time getting it up, okay? Ah, oh, God, okay, whatever. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if I'm like completely wrong, if the mic sounds like terrible or something like that, or it's not as great as I think, you know, like, oh, dude, the AT2020 is so much better and it's cheaper, whatever. 
I don't know, dude. This is the first mic I've ever bought, and really. The blue snowball I got was as a gift. And honestly, I love this mic. Everything, the presentation, the packaging that I came in with, like it has a whole case and everything. Everything feels super genuine. And it's honestly, it feels like, it feels like a piece of art, you know what I mean? I'm like scared to like even touch it sometimes because I'm like, wow, this is an amazing mic. Honestly, I definitely recommend it. I am very happy with how it's working. Streaming has been flawlessly. It has been connecting to my computer really well. I have no issues whatsoever with this thing. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys did like this video. If you guys thought it was boring or something like that, I'm sorry. I. I don't know, I just wanted to flex my new mic. Honestly, I'm really happy. I've been spending a lot of time saving up for this mic and uh, now we're here. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you guys wanna catch me on twitch.tv, that's where I stream. I stream every single day. Probably when you're seeing this video, I'll be streaming like, like an hour or so afterwards. So go check it out, drop a follow and uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. But uh, yeah, uh, it's been real with me. It's been real with me, hello? It's been real guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.